Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Hello and happy Friday to you guys. We are pulling out of the out of the driveway, which is slightly sloped. That's why the car is like, whoa. <laughs> You're running into a wall. <laughs> yeah, we're not. <laughs> but we are actually out and about and uh, waving to all the neighbors as we leave <laughs> the neighborhood. We're headed to Home Goods, <laughs> and apparently I have to tell my husband too. Oh, I can't remember which Jack one it doesn't was. even know where we're going. Apparently, no. has no idea what we're about to do. He's like, but I'll yeah. go with you wherever. We're going to Home Goods. The sky is so blue today. It's amazing. It looks it's like, like Toy, Toy Story. Story. Yes. It's like Toy Story. Toy Story clouds. I'll turn you around in a second, and then I have massive, massive canvases because we're doing a. It's basically a three-bedroom loft for Ty and we need a he's got huge ceilings for part of it so we have massive pieces and I've got to get them done before we leave for Copenhagen because we're putting it together the day after we get back yeah the day after That's I have a right. moving company booked like 12 hours after we get back from Copenhagen yep yep <laughs> so uh, make sure you guys hit subscribe so you don't miss out on those videos coming out but for today we're gonna to be making some DIY artwork doing some shopping at home goods and um, I'm not making dinner today I've already decided probably gonna to go to my favorite restaurant and I will share with you where that is maybe you'll have one near you while we are driving along the reason I'm riding is because I'm being very selfish actually I'm letting him drive which he prefers uh, yeah <laughs> I'm driving the car Hello. <laughs> yes and that also gives me time to uh, sip my coffee because he very kindly made me a coffee in my to-go cup and uh, surf Instagram. I was just uploading. I have a little visual board uh, account on Instagram and it's just for me. I hide the light count. Like if you want to see how my mind works and what I'm interested in, I'll give you the link to it. But I don't want to have to monitor mean comments. I don't want to think about how many people liked it. I just wanted to have a place where I could have a visual mood board for myself. And it's turned out to be one of the most amazing things I've ever done for myself because I really just have a place where I can very quickly gather beautiful images and then just, you know, store them for myself. Uh, one of the things that I've discovered while being on that account is an absolute love and passion for this brand that makes these beautiful bags. My nails are still wet. Because you know that's what I was gonna do, right? <laughs> you knew I was gonna have wet nails. That's why I have him dry. Anytime I see her with a nail polish, I'm like, I get to dry. Yeah, I got this color from Dior and uh, I got the eyeshadow from them. I, I love this eyeshadow that I got from Dior. It's one of the prettiest things I think I've ever seen ever in my life and uh, yeah. It's so creamy, it's so worth the money, it's gorgeous. So anyways, I fell in love. I've got it kind of open right now. I'll show it to you guys in a minute, but. I love that bag. Basically, it's like a little chain basket like this. It's not how it's supposed to be done. I'm not doing it justice right now, but it looks like this, and it's this gorgeous taupe. And uh, I was like, wow, Jack's really just hitting the pedal here. <laughs> <laughs> I think we made it to 60 in three seconds. Yes, we did. <laughs> But we stopped at 60, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah, we did. Uh -uh. Stop right now. <laughs> Anyways, this is by a brand called Demillier, and I have a, an obsession with this brand. I love their their Instagram account. I love their bags. This is my second one that I have from them. They're fashion forward. They're beautiful, and this is the kind of stuff that I love. I feel like fashion and interiors for me 100% go together so so yeah um, I share a lot of these other little finds like if I can show you with one hand the little blazer that I'm wearing is from Amazon and the little t-shirts are from Amazon if you follow our Amazon live events and you will have seen these in action so definitely check out all these things but anyways the blue fluffy clouds are waiting for you guys and I want you to see them so let me turn you around I wanted you guys to see the bag in action. <laughs> Let's 
try to get Jack to actually back the camera out. You've got a long arm. I need arm. a longer arm than this. Oh my gosh. Mr. He's like, is this, is this, <laughs> is this far enough? I'm like, no. <laughs> All right, turn around. They can see we're going into home goods. Yes, we are. Unfortunately, the music was super loud in the store, so you couldn't hear any of the audio. There are a few bits where you can't actually hear it, so when that's happening, I will definitely let you tune into the actual sound, but otherwise, I'm just gonna take you around the store and show you the stuff that I thought was worth checking out. Obviously, the fans. <laughs> If you want to have a photo moment in the middle of your home goods, I really think that everybody should do that. <laughs> Jack couldn't have a turn though. His hair doesn't move. <laughs> you know, uh, something's funny, you know, twice. That's how that works, right? <laughs> I thought that home goods actually had some really cute tables, a lot of really cute benches. I felt like I was finding a lot with the marble and the black iron that I really like. There was a lot going on. Look at this little velvet, little ottoman that we just passed by. There's, there was so much cute stuff. I fell in love with this boucle bench. I thought that the material was gorgeous. Look at this piece that I just found. Wow, that's awesome. I think I have to have this. Okay. Look at this table too. I know, I like this table. Look at this table. Why don't we get out more? <laughs> Probably because it cost me money. Because, yeah. <laughs> this is beautiful. Do you see a price? It's amazing. I know. I wish that this was maybe brass or black. Yeah. Otherwise, I think I'd take it with me just it's to have really an extra. Pretty. I wanted to take just a moment and thank our video sponsor for today, which is Squarespace. As you guys can tell, we're really into having our home and we really think that having a home that's geared just to you and your own style is a pretty special thing. We're kind of into it here at House of Valentina. And we think it's super important that you also have your online home looking just like you. And that's why we love Squarespace. It's fully customizable to be able to represent you, your personality, and your style. You can do everything from different fonts to different templates. And if you're not sure how to even get started, there's all kinds of member areas. There's self-help. There's so many tools that are available to you that will help you not only to create your space, but also to support it and to help you reach out to your family and your friends. You can be starting a business, you can use it for just a way of reaching out to your loved ones. That's how we really got started actually online, was just having a blog just so we could reach out to our family when we were living in Morocco. And here we are, gosh, it's been a long time. <laughs> that was back in 2007 when we first started. And we're still doing it, right? We're still updating our family and friends on what's going on in our lives. And for us, having that online home is really important and it, it's a lot of fun because it creates community with those that you wanna connect with. And that's amazing and we think Square space is the perfect way to get started. It's, it's amazing. And I think that you'll actually really love it. So Squarespace has given me a little discount code for you guys. If you're wanting to get started and check it out for yourselves, go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com backslash house of Valentina to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. We hope that you'll check it out. We know that you're going to love it just as much as we always have. And now we're going to uh, go do a little bit of a home goods haul with you guys. I know, I'm so excited. Can't wait to show you what we got. So let's go. I decided that I had to have that bench. So while Jack went and put it on hold for me, I just started looking around to see what else was here. I am 100% looking for a number of items to finish out the Pennington project and I have several other projects coming up as well so I'm always on the hunt for something that might work somewhere and then maybe something that's just so awesome that I just need to take it home and this green swivel chair was so cute I absolutely loved it I thought that the green velvet was really neutral I like a green like that because it feels like it's not just gonna go out of style there were a lot of see here's another green chair see I would pass on this chair it's just not something that I feel like is as great as the other one. And I was looking at these white chairs for a client of mine, and I just felt that maybe the scale was a little bit small, and it didn't feel appropriate for the rooms that I was gonna be using it in. So these are the kinds of things that you have to think through when you are looking through home goods. You have to really think through your own space, 
if things are gonna fit, if do you need something bigger. Here we're looking at rugs and I love to shop for rugs at Home Goods. They always have such a great selection. There were so many that were so beautiful. I was really just looking for a certain color or something that really jumped out at me. That sisal is stunning and $249.99 is such a great price. Then I came across <laughs> this one and I, I couldn't stop looking at it. I was kind of obsessed. So uh, yeah, you can see Jack came back in time to <laughs> have to leave again because I wasn't leaving the store without this one. That's right, yeah, had him go put that one on hold too. <laughs> Home Goods is actually set up to feel like a treasure hunt which can be a lot of fun. I know that when we lived in Morocco, I absolutely loved going to the markets, through the sooks, and going on those little treasure hunts and looking for something unique. But, uh, hi there. <laughs> this uh, mirror here actually looks like the ones that we're putting into the Pennington bathroom, so stay tuned for that. I thought that was super cute. But you really have to know your measurements. You have to know what you're looking for because it can be really easy to get distracted and end up spending, even if it's $24.99 on something that you don't really need or want, it's not, it's not a good bargain. So you have to really stay focused which I find difficult because I just find so many things and I get really excited, but I really try to take a step back from it and ask myself, is this the art piece that I would really like to have for my space? Instead of just, oh, this is pretty, let's just buy it. So I was looking for more of the, you can see where I already put something in the cart. <laughs> It didn't take me long to find something, but I was really just looking through a lot of these really small prints. A lot of these little things tend to make a space feel a little bit downgraded, so I try to upgrade. I was looking for baskets, and I just didn't find anything that felt like something I would really enjoy. I don't know. Sometimes I just feel like maybe they're just too bohemian for me, and so some of them, like this one, is a little bit nautical. I know I would fit that into a lot of my homes, but again, you you really have to ask yourself, does this fit with my style? Is this what I really want? Generally, I feel that the pillow section at Home Goods is one that I typically just avoid because most of the pillows are fiber fill. I feel like a lot of the patterns that they have feel a little too, just a little too trendy. The colors are a little too saturated. I thought this was really pretty. It's a really pretty piece, but the shape of it doesn't feel special to me. So I know they're meant to be bookends, but I don't usually put my books sitting upright, so that wasn't gonna really work for me. They have a lot of accessories and a lot of glitter. <laughs> and I just really tend to avoid the glittery items. Um, this little piece was really lightweight. It just didn't feel authentic. Um, I thought this was really pretty. It looks like one of those little African carvings. My sister's brought back a few of those for me from her trips to Niger and I love them. This little marble piece, of course, looks fantastic and may have made a trip into the cart, but you will have to wait till we get to the haul section to see if it actually went home with me. I found a rare aisle that didn't have a million people on it. <laughs> Apparently nobody was buying planters that day because nobody was there. And I really just didn't see anything that I really wanted. There's just a lot of stuff going on and it was just kind of chaotic, but I did actually find this table that I thought was really cool. It's just really cool. I love the clover shape, but my husband didn't show you very well, unfortunately. Maybe I'll come up closer. There he goes, okay. <laughs> so I thought that that was a really pretty shape, but the color isn't something that I'm personally looking for. But i that's the kind of stuff you can find at Home Goods. You just have to have an eye and a little bit of patience. I was looking at this little uh, bust guy, and he's just kind of, I don't know, I, I ended up passing on him. It just felt maybe a little too kitschy for me. Now we were checking out the candle section and you know, I, when they say it has to pass the sniff test, <laughs> some of these were pretty bad and some of them were really good. So definitely stay tuned until the end of the video because I'm gonna share with you the ones that I took home and I had quite a haul. So even though there's a lot, there are some that I think are really, really good. We were nearing the end of our time at the store and I didn't have that many things. And I found these little accessories. They just didn't feel 
right. I couldn't put my finger on it. It almost felt more like an ashtray instead of a piece of art. And sometimes I find that's the case where it just feels like something isn't quite right. And when I get that feeling, I used to just override it and just buy it anyways. And now I just put it back. That's just my habit. So I have to really love something. I have to really think that something's going to work. You can always buy it and take it back, but I don't know about you, I am the worst about not taking it back. And then it just ends up in the donation bin. Here you can see we're checking out the last bit of the accessories and hoping that we'll find one last little thing. We're getting hungry because we were actually in there a really long time. So we're gonna go pick up dinner and then he's gonna come back later and I will uh, catch back up with you guys probably tomorrow. So let's go get dinner and then uh, we'll show you what we get because it's amazing, it always is. And then we'll uh, show you the haul later. How does that sound? All right, let's do it. Here's our landing. where's our newbie? Where's our newbie? Where's our newbie? so sweet, Louie. Happy boy. You happy boy? Landon, you hungry? Yeah. You guys ready to have a good dinner together? Yeah. Yeah. I got True Food Kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, we'll come try it out. And I'm gonna give a sneak peek here that we have a uh, different furniture in here. Stay tuned, more on that coming very soon. <laughs> and we got, some of the stuff is still in here we haven't put away yet. Yeah, hang on, let me get it out. All right, you guys, here we go. This is True Food Kitchen. This is their caramelized cauliflower that is literally one of the best things I've ever eaten in my life. I mean, who would have thought yeah. to put uh, dates with cauliflower? It's unbelievable. Then they've got their edamame guacamole with their homemade pita chips, which are outrageously good. Then we've got Landon's grass-fed burger, which he was like, oh, I don't want grass-fed. I'm like, it's a cow, what do you think they eat? <laughs> so yeah, he likes to have a burger. And we've got their sweet potato, little potatoes that are ridiculously good. Jack always gets their grain bowl with the salmon. I accidentally ordered an extra meal, but Landon's in heaven, because he loves the salmon. And I had forgotten to take it back out of the cart, but I love the broccoli, so I'm gonna be eating that. And he's gonna be eating this, and Jack will probably have that, so. <laughs> <laughs> then I got some vegan cookies. They're vegan chocolate chip cookies, and I've never tried them before. And I'm thinking that they're gonna be really yummy. These look but amazing. that is more for Haley, because I thought she would really like yeah, those. Yeah, she would like those. And then I got one of their little flatbreads that looked incredible. Look how garden fresh that oh, is. God, they have nice. a vegan ricotta that they put on there, and a pizza with vegan vegan ricotta and a chicken sausage. So, I mean, that is literally a feast. <sighs> All right, well, it is Pika time. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't actually had my morning coffee yet. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, no, it's 2.30 uh, in the afternoon. The next day, I went and did a paint consultation. Jack's been helping me get a bunch of stuff ready for our next video that's coming out. So, we had some fun at Home Goods. Uh, one of the things is literally sitting on the floor right now. We're gonna show it to you in yes. just a second, but we have a haul to show you before we get there. So would you like to start us up? I feel like this is like Vanna, like da, da, da. Yes. <laughs> so our first item today you're bidding on is... <laughs> it's gonna be like uh, Christie's yeah. auction house. <laughs> so we bought this for the frame. So it's got a canvas. <laughs> I think our son would actually really like this in his room, but he doesn't have a wall for it. No, so no. we literally just bought it for the frame and for the canvas, $39.99. $59.99, and I quite like the piece that's already, oh, you can't see your face that's anymore. Right. I, I quite like the piece here. You lift it up now. Now okay. that it should just cover your face for a second. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was really pretty, actually. Would you leave it like this? I would, I, I actually would. I thought that was a really nice piece. It's really minimal. Maybe I should have just bought both of them because they had two of these and I left one and now I think I may end up wanting this for my closet, so I might just send you back. When we have people guest over, we should always tell them this is you and just see what their response is. Okay, well, better yet, why don't we tell them it's you? <laughs> Moving right along. It's so expensive to pay for framed art. We've got Ty's project coming up as well, and I know that there's a lot of you out there that would never paint over this piece. 
that's just the truth. Yeah. I, I think it's actually a really, really pretty painting. It's just not what I need it for. And so I am going to paint over it, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, am I? I'm you've, like, had oh. really, you've had really good luck when you bought stuff like this and painted over it. I have. For some have. reason, just because it's framed and it yeah. just looks. Yeah, I so my plan is to paint over it. This one was. I can't find the price. 129. That one oh, was 129.99, and I I would definitely if you have a home with some blues and you really crave color. I know, like people write me every week, like, why do you have no color on your channel? I'm like because this is what I like. <laughs> I like a neutral palette. But if you crave color, I think you could definitely run over to Home Goods and get this painting. You guys know I love these kinds of things. I love fun little sculptural pieces. It's made of marble and it is heavy. Look at that. Yeah, it the, is. The, the bicep is activated holding yes, this, it okay? Is. So it is made in India and it cost only $14.99. So I love this. I think it's great. And I am 99% sure that that is going to end up in Ty's building. But then eventually it'll come back home to me because that looks really cute yes, right there. Yes, it does. That looks super cute right there. <laughs> so for our Pika today, we're going to be having Tom and Luke's Nourishment for the Healthy Lifestyle. These are fruit and nut snack balls. And I got to tell you, I bought them because they said balls. <laughs> I was going to say, I thought it said Tom and Luke's balls. I was like, that would be a good They are brand. salted caramel. Yeah. Salted caramel, vegan, not, no added sugar, dairy free, portion controlled, non GMO, and gluten free. Shall we try these out? Are they portion controlled if you eat the entire freaking container? Because that <laughs> would be my plan. I would think you would just have a stomach ache at some point. Do you want to try one? Sure. Okay. Oh, that's good. I just can't help but think of that. Saturday Night Life skit all the way I know. Ago. <laughs> that's what I was thinking about when I saw that cover. I was like, <laughs> sweaty balls. <laughs> mm. That is actually That's really good. Really good. I will leave you a link because that does not taste healthy. <laughs> that tastes really good. And it is actually healthy? Yeah. No. And for those of you who are wondering, yes, we are sitting on different furniture. It's <laughs> a whole nother story with that one. There's a whole story attached to the fact that we're sitting on a different sofa and I cannot wait to share that with you in an upcoming video. Yes. <laughs> so make sure you are hitting subscribe because we don't want you to miss out on a new completely new furniture arrangement and um, actual furniture in the room, so. Yes. All right, smelly good stuff. Yes. Yes, so this is cypress and fig. It smells so good. Oh it my smells gosh. so good. The, you were gonna send it through. There you go. There you go. <laughs> the sweetness of that fig with that. Mm, the cypress? Like cypress? Yeah. Oh my gosh. It comes with a little wood lid. It's nice and neutral. Goes with everybody's style. Yeah. I love it. I thought that was so pretty. And they had two that had like this big gash on it, and I searched and searched to find one that was ready to go. This one's fourteen ninety nine. Yeah, yeah, leather. Oh, this one smells so good. Oh my god, <laughs> this is cool because this actually reminds me of the leather in Morocco, like yeah. an old leather, yeah. not like new leather, but yeah. it reminds me of the froshes and a lot of the stuff that we. They're used not going to gonna buy know there. what a frosh is. Frosh is the little Moroccan <laughs> sofa. Yeah. But that's what I it think that like. this was really cute too because it has look at this it has ribbon. the little wood lid Something. and the little leather strap on it so that's pretty cute stuff that one was only nine ninety nine and it is hand poured wax primrose and they're calling it primrose vintage sugared citrus do you guys want to know what this is this is a one hundred percent dupe for the volcano candles yes. that is very expensive if you go to anthropology even the container yeah. looks like it came from anthropology and it is glamorous it's not that rich kind of look mm. it was 24.99 for this incredibly this massive huge candle. candle so i wanted to share with you our weekend task list because you guys know we love to have our weekend task list it's a free pdf if you want to download it it has a ton of inspiration for you for the weekend just gives you fun little things that remind you to have fun and to enjoy your weekend the first thing we think you guys should be doing this weekend is painting your own painting whether you have a canvas that you've ordered off of amazon which is what we are going to be also painting in just a minute or you want to grab one from somewhere like home goods you may even have one inside your house that you just don't want to put up but you've got a framed canvas 
paint over it and make it something that you really love. You've got good weather where you are, get outdoors, sit in your outdoor area and just enjoy it. Even if you don't do yard work or anything else, just get out there, have a drink and enjoy being outside for a few minutes. Now we think maybe you should take it a little bit further because I have treated Jack to a new pizza oven. Oh my gosh, yes. It was supposed to be his Father's Day slash anniversary gift, but I gave it to him early because we're getting ready to do an Amazon live event that will be all Father's Day gift oh ideas. Oh my gosh, the, it is so good. The person that you can never think of anything to get, I have got 40, yes, 40 things that I think the guys in yes. your life will absolutely love. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna be sharing that. Make sure you're following us on our Amazon Lives and our Amazon Storefront. Yeah, so I can't wait. Are you excited? We had so much. Oven? Yes, I love that thing. Yeah, I absolutely love it. And I also bought him the Elements of Pizza. We have tried the pizza oven once. Yes. So far, and it was incredible how it, good it tasted. It really was. I I mean, we can't even speak to just how good it was. And we did the dough recipe out of the elements of pizza, and I used the sauce. I, the sauce was the sauce. so good. Incredible. You know, it was so simple. It was so simple. Huh. And I was like, why did I do this before? <laughs> and I'm kind of addicted now because you can literally like play with your own ingredients yeah. and just make it like that. So it's got, this book is loaded with all kinds of tips and tricks about how to make your dough, how to make your sauce, different kinds of oh. sauces, everything from vodka to uh, classic Italian to uh, they've got like New York style they've got all different kinds of oh, pizzas yum. they've got the traditional ones in here they've got some that like this one is a carbonara pizza I was like ooh, that looks really good so there you go amazing amazing yeah. inspiration in here and so whether you need a cookbook or not I always leave the links in the PDF for these items but if you've got everything you need Make a pizza, sit outside. If you have oh, yeah. a pizza oven, just stick it in the pizza oven. It just makes everything taste literally like we're in Italy. It was like it really we, was. Were in Italy. we have leftovers for tonight and I can't wait. That's I know, what we're I can't having wait for dinner tonight. So yes, check those out. I'm also going to be taking some me time and my book of the week is Houses Atelier AM. I Love this book. There's actually two of them and I don't own the second one. I need to get the really? other one. Yeah. There's a book you don't own that you want? I know. I know. Well, this is, it's so sophisticated. It's so luxurious. That. And I find that books like these really inspire me in whatever spaces I'm working on. It's traditional. There's some contemporary in here and you've got kind of everything in between. And I just really love these kind of books. They feel like almost like Architectural Digest. It's gorgeous. All right, so there you go. There is the gorgeous rug. I don't want to show it to you completely, but I was thinking that maybe this would go into Dr. Ferris's home, but I wasn't sure if maybe this, he might see this as pink. That was the only request he made was that no pink. So. <laughs> And nothing too crazy, which I think maybe he didn't realize who's he, who he was hiring when he said that too, but yeah. So then it might just stay here. Or I might just put it in Ty. I was thinking it would be really pretty in one of the bedrooms in Ty's new building. So you guys let me know in the comment section where you think I should put this. Should I keep it? Should I put it in the doctor's home or should I put it in Ty's new building? We're gonna have to have a boucle intervention for Valentina because I cannot just walk away from it. So when I saw this, I've got a couple places in Ty's building that I could use it. And I was also thinking there's one spot in Dr. Ferris's home that I could use it, but that would be assuming that I give it up. So <laughs> if it goes to Ty's and it eventually comes back to me, so I'm like, <laughs> the cool thing about this one is that it, well, it opens <laughs> the other direction. <laughs> this one was, $149.99, it does have the little storage area and it's by DKNY. So yeah, I really loved it. I had to have it. I, I'm just like that. When I see something that I absolutely love like that, I just get it because I know, I know I'm gonna love it. So, okay, coffee, paint clothes, garage, let's do it.